My name is Dr. Stephen Karpak. I'm a long-term resident of Camelot's, proud father of three wonderful great kids and husband to a wonderful woman who's my best friend, Kathleen Karpak. I've been in Camelot's since the 1970s. Um, it's been home. It's a great place to call home. It's why I came back to Kamloops after exploring parts of the world. Got my youthful travel bug out. Um, it's a great place to, to have a business. That's why I have my business here as a chiropractor. Um, it's a place that I like to be involved in and I've been involved my whole life in Kamloops so I'm glad to be here. Why did I decide to run City Council? I guess a couple of things. Um, one, I think I'm in that point in my life where I'd like to make a change. I want to be accountable for change rather than just sit back and talk about things that I wish would happen. I want to stand up and make that change. I'm a pretty positive guy. I like to do things. I've always been a doer. So this is an opportunity and I think I'm at that point where I can make a big change by being involved with the city. Top priority for me as a candidate, I think comes back to one word and that's attitude. And I think we need to change the attitude of many people, um, not just within city and business, but our whole community in general to focus on being a little more positive. And this is a great place to call home. We have so many beautiful things that we can focus on and enhance and, and define ourselves by. And I think for myself, that sort of whole collegial within the citizens of Kamloops to come together and you know, open up that conversation with somebody by saying hello in a genuine and sincere way and how can I help you if you're in the service sector. Being the best of what we can be every day in work, in play, but communicating with each other in the same positive way only you know, extends out that wonderful place that we are as a community and I think that will attract many people to wanting to be here like those of us who already are. Um, I guess as a project priority I'm an outdoor guy and I love riding my bike so my main priority I think would be to look at our rivers trail system and connectivity within the city. I'd love to see a little bit more focus on that in a big way. I think we could define ourselves by having more of that done and I've got some pretty cool ideas on how we can make that happen. Well, youth are our future, and students presently are you know, one constituent of that youth. And it doesn't matter if someone's in grade school or in university, they are the future for any community. And I think meaningful engagement in activities and discussions, involvement in those activities and discussions and planning is really a place to go. And I, 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 we talk about programs where you take your kid to, to work one day and it's not just to get them to sweep the floor, it's about understanding how mom or dad or an aunt or an uncle works in their community. And then maybe going back and asking them, what did you see that I didn't? Your perspective is different than mine. And I think getting that sort of thing from the students, from the younger generations, and younger generations to me is somebody maybe a bit younger than myself, I'm 48, um, but I've been there and I think looking at what is that they see as a need, as a direction, as a design change, and engaging them in that is really one of the things that we have to do. It's not about saying, hey, don't travel and go somewhere else, but we should encourage them to do that and then bring back that knowledge and expertise and enhance the city that we call home. That's what we need to do. We need to encourage them to want to come back by engaging them before they leave and giving them a taste of how good it is and make them want to come back and make our city that much better. I think if I were to tell somebody as an ambassador of the city, and I have in many occasions, it depends on the audience. And I think that's with any time you're going to have a conversation. So, you know, we have some incredible trails as a cyclist that I've enjoyed, uh, you know, in the, in the city itself and around the area. So for those who are the outdoor inclined, the mountain bike, world class. Um, we've got a growing craft brewery side, we've got the winery sector that's growing, we've got some fantastic restaurants, our arts and culture scene from the symphony to the nationally recognized art gallery that many of us don't even go down and use, um, our museum and archives. It all depends on what the person's looking for. We've got a great opportunity and I think if I were to say it would also depend on what they're looking for because we have a lot to offer. Well, I'm biased. I'm, I'm a profound cyclist. Um, 
I've ridden my bike in the city for a long, long time. When I was in elementary school, rode my bike to school. Got to high school, rode my bike to school. Rode to institution here from way out in Valley View every day that I could. And I now ride my bike from where I live in Brocklehurst up to my office in Aberdeen. And I see some needs for infrastructure in that regard. If we're gonna encourage our community to become healthy and active, and that in itself is a benefit for attracting others to come to our community, we need to have a better system of, of getting people around and not necessarily just by painting a line on a road. I've been hit by a car twice going to work. It didn't stop me from riding my bike, it changed how I rode my bike. It's also encouraged me to want to again step up and make a change because I don't think anybody wants to get hit riding the bike to work. Um, but I think the one main transportation thing, I would love to see a really well-defined connected trail system that extends from Hefley or Rayleigh, Barnard Vale, Dallas, all the way out to Tronquil Farms and Upper Aberdeen. And if we don't take that time to start now, it's almost going to be too late because we'll have infilled all that opportunity with development over time. So now is the real critical time for us to think, look ahead for 20, 50 years from now, where do we want to be with that network, knowing where the world is going, looking at other cities. And I think that's a, a positive for us to focus on. We have that opportunity to do that here. Everybody's vying for jobs, right? Everyone wants that economic stability. And I think our biggest challenge is to really define who we are as a city. And I think sort of laying out some groundwork and having a grand vision of where we, we need to go, but not wanting to be another city. We are, we're not a Kelowna, we're not a Vancouver, we're Kamloops. And it's a pretty good place to be. But we need to define what that is and then enhance it and, and capitalize on that. Um, you know, make it a healthy city. We're already the tournament capital. Let's push that agenda and look that in the whole of the population. Doesn't matter how old or young you are, you can be a healthy, active participant in our community. And I think for ourselves, if we can define ourselves as a healthy, livable city, that's a place the business is going to want to be because those are the most productive members in their workforce. So that's a good place to look at. We have a lot of opportunity, and I think a lot of us take it for granted or don't even think about it. In, as a city, we have a transportation network that many cities would be envious of, from rail and transportation by road. We've got a great airport now that's been further developed. We've got an infrastructure in the fiber optic high tech sector that's second to none in the world. Uh, we have that benefit here. We've got TRU and the students and the staff and the knowledge and the expertise to draw upon and enhance. We've got such an opportunity with our resource sectors for raw materials. We really have it all. We just need now to figure out how to put it all together and then encourage others to come and enjoy it with us and make more of what we've got as an opportunity. Being married for 20 years to a great, great best friend. Um, and having three wonderful kids. Uh, Kathleen is my wife of 20 years and known her for 24. Met her at UCC back in the day. Um, has stuck with me, has been sort of my main pillar of support. And it's been a challenge to, to make that relationship work, but I'm pretty proud of it. And to have three wonderfully talented, great, active kids that are involved and want to be more involved, that makes me pretty proud. That said, I'm pretty proud of the building we're sitting in here too because there was a group of us, including my wife in 1993-94, who had a vision of a student space that was independent from the administration. And we managed to convince as a student group, as the society that existed in 93-94, the rest of the student bodies to have a vision of a place that could be done long after they graduated. And it came to reality, so we're sitting in it right now. I'm pretty proud of that too.